Hi guys, welcome to another Excessive Gamer Review, my series of thoughts of current or maybe not so current games, because some of these are worth looking back to. If you're hoping for an overall score, or anything that remotely depicts any form of scaling system whereby you get to gauge the worthiness of the material, well, this isn't the place to get it, but what you'll certainly get is my most honest opinion of what I think works and doesn't work in any given title. So if you like what you see, then why not subscribe? With all those formalities out of the way, let's get going. Mafia are a culmination of what it meant to be cool back in the days. The sleek hair, the suave sophistication of a polished crime organization run by guys with three-piece tailored suits in vintage cars sporting Tommy guns and cigarettes like teens of the modern era sport Jordans and those immaculate butt-shaping stretchy pants which all of a sudden make gyms a definite go-to place for the stalking male predator in his elusive search for coitus. Mafia, the definitive edition, puts the eye in Italian but forgets to add garlic in that marinara. Game does look absolutely splendid in most cases. The cars are where the devs seem to have spent most of their time. The reflections and model work here are excellent. More often than not, I find myself giving the vehicles a 360 just to appreciate all that detail. They truly are a marvel to behold. The city can seem extremely detailed in some areas and a boggy mess of great popping textures in others. It's as if the devs were tied for time and left less important sections in the game for perhaps a later date. Regardless, overall, the game does look great and does a good job of recreating a 1930s city. The biggest issue is that the gameplay feels stodgy, kinda like a spaghetti sauce left on the boil for way too long. You can certainly tell that the controls have been given a once-over from the original series, when I think it may have required perhaps two, maybe even three passes. It does feel very clunky at times, especially during the melee fight scenes and short cutscenes when you've pulled off a finishing move. These just didn't need to be in the game if you ask me. Worst of all is when trying to grab a medkit off the wall because the hit area for these seem ridiculously finicky. When you're caught up in the middle of a raging gunfight and you need that medkit but just can't grab it, it just makes you feel like a freaking meatball. It just needs more polish. There are a lot of bugs in Mafia. Mostly they come in the form of randomly appearing vehicles. Sometimes vehicles that have completely skipped the current century and have some type of jet propulsion system where they can obviously fly. In general though, these type of bugs are somewhat comical and added to the fun of the whole experience without really hampering it. I just wish the game didn't involve so much driving. It does feel like a driving simulator at times. However, I personally thought the cars drove pretty well and control as much as I'd expect cars of the era to handle. The developers have also added bikes to the game which weren't in the original. I think a welcomed addition. There are certain points in the game where I could run directly to the checkpoint and skip the gunfights. Something that could definitely use a little tightening up by the programmers. The story is the absolute shining beacon in this game. It is the parmigiano to your bolognese or the barolo wine accompanying it. Here you get the typical mafia scenario with the family run by Don Salieri, the big chubby Italian boss who likes nothing more than wiping the marinara sauce off his plate with a grey big piece of focaccia while ensuring to chop down his enemies, ensure the citizens supply of alcohol and cigars during the late prohibition era was taken care of and he also granted the much needed protection to businesses within his territory. The story centers around the fictional city of Lost Haven during the 1930s as you take on the role of Tommy Angelo, a taxi driver who by some form of twisted fate finds himself caught up with the Salieri family as they handle the day-to-day -day mafia struggles and try to put a lid on the Morello family. The voice acting has been recast and this clearly shows. The actors have hit this out of the ballpark. The story is compelling and very believable. The acting is just absolutely spot on. If it wasn't for the insanely huge load times between segments you would believe this was a Hollywood blockbuster movie. It's seriously that good. I must be honest and mention though that Sam's voice sometimes sounded like he had a cheese grater shoved up his digestive breach, but still, it added a lot of personality to this character, so even this wasn't a drawback. Overall, if you've come to Mafia having played the original you knew what to expect and I suspect that everything is good when everything has been improved. However, if like me, you're coming with this with a clean slate, then things don't pan out as positively. The one thing I will take from this was a great story, albeit somewhat cliche and typically Mafia, but a good story with a great heap of memorable characters. This is no GTA. The world isn't bustling with life. It does really feel like a game from 2002 that has been well scrubbed. However, there are many things that hinder the experience, such as the agonizing load times 
and the stiff mechanics which really put the gameplay well behind most other games of this genre. If there is anything to take from this, it is a story well written, and a story well told, with beautiful cinematics, and some of the best voice acting you'll hear. As cliche as it may be, Mafia is definitely Mafia through and through. I'm Excessive Gamer, till next time.